Get in the action at weareone.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got to behave. I yeah. got to behave. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to oh, pay, no bills. Gotta pay <laughs> no bills. Got to pay no bills. Oh, man. But uh, we got creative conversations in the building. I want to ask y'all, like, how does one become an interior designer? Good question. Um, Good question. Several avenues. The most traditional one, I would say, is probably education and to go to school. You can either get a two-year associate's degree or you can get a four-year bachelor's of fine arts in interior design. Now, that's the traditional way. If you're a non-traditional person like myself who just likes to make stuff look good, you know, well, no, or well, other people out there, are there a lot of interior designers who have not had that education? Absolutely. Absolutely. And let me backtrack and, and say this. There are interior decorators and there are interior designers. And there's oh. a difference between oh, the two. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Well, let's back up. Bust that know. down. Bust that down for me. <laughs> so decorators typically make spaces look beautiful. Okay. Interior designers, we create plans for spaces. Mm. So much like an architect can build a building, can build a home or commercial structural building, interior designers can also. Mm. So we can take an empty box of a shell and create a functional, because that's important. Mm -hmm. People forget Very about that. Very important. That. Yeah. So we create not only an aesthetically pleasing place, but a functional place. And that's a little different from what an interior decorator can mm -hmm. give you. They usually just give you an aesthetically pleasing place. Right. Gotcha. They take what you have and do what they can with it and make it look good. And they can add to it, but their specialty is not function. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they don't typically All right. get into See, you guys have just walls. learned something new because yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I definitely want to build on the symposium yeah. um, and uh, this this wonderful event that you yeah. all uh, have collaborated to put together. Uh, tell, tell us about the event, when and where it's going to be and uh, how can people get involved with it? So the Texas Black Interior Design Symposium is happening this September 20th and 21st here in Houston, between Houston and Sugarland, Texas. Okay. So we will be um, hosting two nights. The first night will be Friday night. We're having an event at Neiman Marcus in Galleria. Ooh. Ooh, right. They're one of our Ooh. sponsors. All right, Ooh. Neiman yep, Marcus. Yep, yep. Ooh. So sponsored by <laughs> Alton Lede Media and Neiman Marcus. They are hosting us the night. And we will have celebrity interior designer Corey Damon Jenkins here. Hey, Corey. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, Corey? Shout out to Corey. <laughs> Shout out to Corey. And the architectural and... Um, home writer for the Houston Chronicle will be interviewing him. So it's going to be a pretty big event that night. So we're excited about that. Then mm -hmm. on Saturday, we will be at Ferguson showroom in Sugarland, okay. and they are our title sponsor for that day. Okay. And it's going to be a full day of seminars. We have celebrity designers, Nikki Chu and Monica Wilcox in the Yay. building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, local, um, Mar well, she's a marketing executive, but Kay Whitaker will be here. Okay. We have interior designer Nikki Klug will be here. Okay. She's uh, Houston born and raised, but she's out of San Diego right now. Okay. And then we have our girl, Veronica Sanders, who's coming in from Dallas. Hey, All right. right. Yeah. yeah. So we have a full day of sponsorships, giveaways, seminars, good food, because we like to eat well. Lots yeah. of networking. Lots of networking. Yeah. And then we're going to round out the night with an award show and a party oh that's awesome mm -hmm. yeah. that sounds fun yeah Man. so is the symposium uh for only people in the field of interior design or or is, the, is it open to the public as well well the saturday event the seminars in the morning it's mostly target targeted to people in the industry mm -hmm. um but any you know I understand. If you're yeah. In interior design, you may want to come because some of our speakers will be talking about, you know, the business of design and this, that, and the other. So it may be interesting. But uh, for the most part, it's it's really just for the industry uh, that Saturday morning, and then on Friday and that Saturday night, anybody can come and participate. And That's awesome. Sharing all the fabulousness. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So where can interior designers find that information? You know, do you want to let them know where they can find it or if they yeah, have to yeah, register yeah. as a deadline? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So www.creativeconversationshouston.com. And that's Creative Conversations with an S, Houston. Yes. As says in Sam. Mm -hmm. dot com, mm -hmm. Houston dot com. So you can learn about creative conversations. You can learn about the comp symposium there and you can register. 
So it uh, will link you to Eventbrite so you can get your tickets. Get there your tickets, the itinerary and info on the uh, speakers, sponsorships, vendors. Hotel blocks. Hotel, we have a hotel yes. here in uh, Houston. Uh, Great room rates. I have it set up all for you. All you have to do yes, is show yeah. up. All you have to do yeah. is point and click. There you go. <laughs> and pay. Point and click and pay. Hey, bam. <laughs> and we're running a Labor Day sale right now. Okay. So we have two different ticket bases. We have our industry pro ticket. So that's for designers. Anyone connected to the field. Um, that ticket is $150. But if you purchase that, you'll get the Friday night event ticket for $50 off. So you only get, you'll get that ticket for $25. It's regular price $75. So you'll get both days for the $175, which is a great great deal for everything that we're giving mm -hmm. yeah. um, students just listed a whole bunch yeah. of stuff. <laughs> right. um, students uh, their tickets are $50 and again that deal works for them so they'll get their Friday night ticket for 25 so just 75 for the two days if you're an interior design student students get down on yes, this yeah. Yeah, invest in yourself right. yes yeah and so so what really put it on you all spirit to organize a symposium like this because I, I know that it's uh, something bigger than you just want to be seen because oh, I know putting no. just the logistics from everything you say <laughs> yeah. sounds like it's you know tough to put, to put together. So what what really led you all to to organize this? You want to start? You want me to start? Yeah, I want to get both. Of you um, I, I'm starting and I'll let you round it up because <laughs> I think we have we both have our individual ideas on this or thoughts on this. But there's a disconnect in the industry. There's a perception about the industry that it's one level that there's mm -hmm. only a particular type of interior designer. There's only in interior designers that look one way and right. that's totally not true. Right. Um, there are many talented African-American designers, not only in Houston, but across the country. And um, Houston, as big of a city as it is, we boast many talented interior designers, African-American designers. And we wanted to showcase that right. and kind of show um, the nation that, hey, you know, we're here. Mm -hmm. We're going to celebrate each other. We're going to lift each other up. We're going to not only show um, the design community here that we support one another, but we want all of us together, African-Americans, to know we're here for you. Mm -hmm. We want to connect. We want to um, circulate the black dollar within our community. Right. So if you're a painter, I want to source you. Mm -hmm. If you, um, whatever you do in the industry, let's work together and connect and let's do good business together. Um, and, and let's bridge that gap so that we can change the face of what interior design looks like on a global level. Wow. Yes, we. Yeah, I'm you sorry. said everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> drop no. a bike. Yeah, drop a bike. Bam. Right, bam. <laughs> um, everything she said. Plus, uh, <laughs> um, we believe in uh, diversity through the through design. Um, it's for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, we like she said we have we have lots of talented African American designers. Um. So how we came about doing this actually has been something I've been wanting to do for quite some time, but just never could do it. Uh, life interrupted and everything. Yeah. yeah. But we talked about, um, you know, putting something on. So we started a Facebook group with interior designers. And, uh, you know, we did a poll we asked them, you know, would you, what would you like to see? Would you like to see a conference? This, mm -hmm. that, and the other. So we got some good feedback. And uh, when did we start doing this? About two years ago? We started between the two of us about two years ago. And then I ran into a sales rep that works with Ferguson and her and I clicked and we started talking and I mentioned attending another conference in um, in Atlanta. And she said, you know, hey, why don't we do something like that here? Yeah. Shout out to uh -huh. Keisha Roberts at Ferguson Sugarland. Keisha, so Keisha. Um, she has been, oh my God, she has been a hustler in, yeah. in making this happen for us. So without her help this vision wouldn't have come to life it's all about the team right? yeah yes. yeah we yeah. have a tremendous team yes all right man that's one thought out there man she said they've been playing this for two years two now. years you know and, and that also just goes to show uh for for all of you entrepreneurs out there that you know trying to throw things together real fast mm -mm. ain't necessarily the mm -mm. best way to be